All right. So uh, the second question for today is an anonymous question. And this person says, what's the connection between our dreams and the subconscious mind? I remember most of my dreams, which sometimes can be overwhelming. I usually dream about daily life, like I am living parallel life with the same people I am living with in real life. Thank you, Odile. So thank you for the question. It's a good one. And uh, so regarding dreams, according to the scientific research, there's a lot that's not known about dreams and sleep, but according to the scientific research that has been conducted so far, it seems that dreams are the result of the unconscious part of the brain processing experiences while we sleep. So one of the important processes that happens while we're sleeping is that the brain sorts and consolidates memories for long-term storage. And uh, so this is why if you, if you need to learn anything um, intellectually, so you, you're learning lines for something or you're learning facts or you're learning a skill, that kind of thing, as you're learning it, it's a good, it's, it, um, or, or rather after learning it, it's a good idea to get a good night's sleep because that is when the processing and the establishing of those, the, that information, those skills um, is, is consolidated. So I know that when I was, um, when I was in my previous life <laughs> as an actress and singer, I would um, go through my lines or lyrics for songs before going to sleep so that it could, and, and, you know, things that I couldn't remember while I was trying to learn them after a good night's sleep, I would wake up and it would be there. So, and that's, so that's processing and, and consolidating memories for long-term storage that happens while we're sleeping. Now, as that process is happening, the conscious mind experience, experiences those processes as dreams, or that's what the research shows so far anyway. So um, dreams are the conscious mind's experience of the processing that's going on um, while the brain sorts out what's important to remember, what's not important, and can be let go and, um, and, and consolidating memories. So here's the thing. If, as you say in your case, it's, uh, it's overwhelming, so remembering those dreams is overwhelming, allow yourself to not think about them. So knowing that it's just your brain processing stuff in the background and that you don't need to consciously engage with it. Like your computer is doing an, like when your computer does an update. So that'll help you to let go of the dreams so that you're not feeling overwhelmed. So when you wake up, allow yourself to just let go of the dreams. It was just stuff that was happening during the night. There's no need for you to remember them or engage with them because there's nothing for your conscious mind to do. Um, any more than there's anything for you to do, for example, physically while you're waiting, while your computer is doing an update, you don't need to do anything uh, with it. So in the same way, and that'll help you to, that'll help to bring down the stress chemicals and not feel, feel overwhelmed by it. So see it as like you just watched a movie while you were asleep. So you don't need to do anything about it. It doesn't mean anything other than it was just happening in the background. So hopefully that's helpful. But of course, let me know if you need more of this. <laughs>